Welcome to Wiggle Sticks TV. things I have uh, realized that I need to do to the old SRAD is put the factory pro jet kit that I have here because um, the full system is uh, yeah not or the carbs aren't running optimally with that well she's back from Mick Hones after uh, getting the jet kit and a uh, little bit of other carb work done to it. Um, so it's been sitting for a little while. We'll see what it, um, how easy it is to start. Um, in a second. So a little bit of choke. More choke. Seems to be sounding much better. Uh, so I'll take it for a spin now and uh, see how it goes. The gifts that keeps on giving. Um, while this bike is back and running way better, um, it still has a hot start kind of problem. Um, I rode it about 17 k's, just around little loops within 5 k's on the weekend, and um, it's still similar problems before, but rather than the taco and everything going up, this time it's almost like it's conking out on the lights. Um, so I actually think it's a ignition coil, maybe a weak. <laughs> So yeah, I think, I think it's a weak spark problem. Um, so before I check the spark and everything, I'm gonna just swap the battery, swap the battery over for the one that's in the 98 and um, hopefully that will fix it. If not, then I'll start investigating uh, the coils. I just double check that the wires are securely connected and um, they're in the right order, which they are. So um, yeah, I think that's, that'll be the next stage. So I'll swap the batteries over uh, take it for a spin and uh, see what happens. Okay, so we got new uh, battery in. Let's uh, see if she turns over. That was on. Bit of choke. <laughs> Well, it seemed to start and turn over a little bit quicker. Um, I'm not sure that voltage is actually high enough when it's when it's charging. So um, I just grab the manual and see what that's supposed to do. So we just got back from um, about a 15k little spin. Uh, when I got back, so it's just been sitting here for a few minutes. Um, when I got back, I checked the voltage while it was running. Um, it's 14.6, so it seems to be charging the battery okay. Um, let's see how we go. Oddly annoying, I must say. Uh, so let's see. So 
So this is with the new battery out of the 98 in it. So what I would say is it definitely smells like fuel. Um, it's definitely charging better off that battery. So, well, I think our problem isn't entirely fixed. Uh, a new battery is probably the next, um, yeah, the next little cog. Uh, yeah, the next little uh, thing in the cog. And then uh, with any luck, We'll be able to get this bloody thing working. So I think it's back to Mick Hone at some point, but I will, I will pull the uh, plugs out and see, um, see what the spark is like. After my test ride uh, today, I came back and did a little bit more investigating, uh, and I managed to find uh, a couple of frayed wires in uh, the harness um, coming out of the. Uh, back of the CDI. So this wire, the red, sorry, the orange, whatever it is, red with yellow tracer and the green one, uh, they both go to the ignition. So that's where I had a short um, a little while back and was fixed. And then you can also see that um, this uh, black wire has been fixed at some point. So I can't remember if I did that or not. So um, yeah, that's possibly where my hot start issue is coming from. Um, once these wires heat up, if they end up touching, um, could be causing an issue. So uh, that will be where I go on the repair uh, next. So I've been doing some investigation on the wiring diagram. Hopefully this comes, um, comes out okay. Uh, those two crossed wires, uh, or sorry, the frayed wires, is this orange with a red marker, um, which goes from the ECU uh, across to the ignition switch. And then the green one that is frayed, uh, if you follow the diagram down, um, it joins up to the pulse coil generator. Um, so, I have a seeking suspicion if both of those things are messing with each other or causing interference, that may be what is causing the hot start issue. So I'm going to fix those wires, put a new battery in it, and uh, with any luck, problem will be solved. Today I've finished up um, just insulating the wiring in the back of the CDI in there where I think it was shorting out. Uh, down in there somewhere. So just a bit of heat shrink and um, uh, insulation tape just to try and keep it out of harm's way. And then I also went and uh, just refinished off these uh, regulator brackets while I, uh, while I was there. So I'll give it a crack at um, starting it now and uh, see how we go. So the battery's been on charge. I just put the old battery back in there because I haven't got the new one yet, um, but we'll see how it goes. And then more recently, uh, I had a look at this earth uh, lead that came from the uh, negative tab on the battery to the um, engine it's supposed to earth to, whereas I had it earthing to the frame, um, which is kind of 
silly mistake, but relatively easy to fix. Um, so then when I took the wire off um, to investigate it a little bit more, I noticed that the terminals and uh, the wire that leads from the, the top part of this into uh, this part of the harness um, was frayed. And you can see from the image on uh, screen just how bad the wiring was. Um, so I ended up pretty much junking uh, maybe you know, that much sort of wire that was coming from inside of the harness was all burnt. Um, but there was a, a factory join here where it breaks off into another part of the harness. Uh, the wire was fine back to there. So um, I ended up getting a different one of these that I had lying around. I've cleaned it all up. This wire is good, so I've re uh, fixed that terminal up now. So then I'll be able to just connect all this back up and with any luck, um, my earthing issues will be fixed. So that's essentially where we're sitting at now. So I'll just go back and um, put all this back together. And then if it doesn't rain this afternoon, I'll be able to get out and take it for a spin. So fingers crossed. So I got all this back together, uh, started up fine. And then when I put the bodywork on, I lost the fuel pump. I wouldn't prime any of the fuel. So I traced it back, checked the relay, checked the pump, and that was fine. And then when I came up, I just tracing the wire back on the harness, came up to this area. And when I wiggled this part of the harness around, the fuel pump would come on, uh, which is good, I guess. Um, however, when I had it started, the, um, I was just touching these wires here and these wires all the way back here and some of the ones on this side of the plug were getting super hot. Um, so, I'm going to have to pull this apart a little bit. This is a, a bit of a bypass because I had a key switch eliminator on here that was faulty. Um, so I'm going to pull these, undo these a little bit now and uh, see if I can investigate a little bit more what's going on. Um, when I did move this harness around a little bit when it was running, it actually cut the bike off. So um, obviously there's something not happy either in the terminals or in some of the connectors or something in here, something shorting out. Um, it did short out in here once before, so I'll just have to see exactly um, what happens when we investigate into here a little bit more. <laughs> 